اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قبلی بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ Dear sisters, today we are starting our new lecture series in English language and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for me to deliver and to make it easy for you to understand. My first topic is qualities that make Quran a miracle. Alhamdulillah, we are very blessed that uh, we are Muslims. But unfortunately, it is our weakness that uh, we have not given um, time to the Quran and to understand the Quran. And we have not given thought uh, about the glorious um, Islam that we follow. So, dear sisters, it is very important for us to uh, to get some time in everyday life to start understanding uh, the Quran. May it be a verse or two, and may it be uh, five minutes or ten minutes. But we have to uh, take this time out of uh, all our worldly responsibilities because being a muslim allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that uh, we have one more life to come and that is hereafter and that life is um, uh, will start after our death so a muslim when believes in this um, aqeedah he or she should get prepared for that life so we will start with baby step baby steps right we will start by five minutes a day 10 minutes a day and we will start with understanding one verse of quran or two verses of quran and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for us to get more and more knowledge and noor of the Holy Quran. So let's begin our today's topic. My today's topic is how Quran is a miracle. The Arabic word for miracle is mojaza. Miracle is something uh, which claims to be incomparable. So we as a Muslim are taught that your Quran the book that is uh, given to you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through uh, our messenger, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is a miracle. But we need to understand how Quran is a miracle. If you see, there are many uh, aspects uh, by which we can understand that Quran is a miracle. If you see a book written by a human being, you will notice that a book comprises of a subject or two or maybe three and that's it. A human, uh, a human intellect is limited, right? A human being, uh, uh, his thought system is limited, his approach is limited, his intellect is limited. But in Holy Quran, we see there is diversity of topics. Even in one surah, even sometimes in one ayah, we see so many subjects and so much wisdom which cannot be produced by a human mind. Surely not can be produced by a human, by, by human mind because human... Um, the thought system is very limited, right? So, one more aspect of Quran being a miracle is that it provides us uh, knowledge of uh, the things that 
is not reachable by human senses such as metaphysical order there are some realities which are connected to ourselves which are connected to our very being and that is from where do we come and from where will we go after that and what happens to a person when he or she dies these are the questions that no modern science can cover at all and uh, an intelligent you know an intelligent human being need to uh, take these questions very seriously because dear sisters your life and my life is not a game right it's not something to be ignorant of i being a uh, being an alive human being and i certainly go out of this world and i have no control over myself or on the life of my loved ones if something um, some accident or something happens to my loved ones i have no control over them many of our loved ones may be passed away um, from this world may allah forgive forgive them and forgive us but what is in our hand allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in quran that you have been given a very little knowledge so these are questions um, which uh, a human being should be very thoughtful of and these uh, questions are answered in the holy quran then uh, if we discuss about human life different aspects of human life be it a spiritual physical individual or collective quran provides us about all these aspects of human life a complete guidance and then one more aspect is that this book were uh, in those days this book was was composed in those days where arabs were known as ummiyun and ummiyun means illiterates and that the book came through the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who could not even read or write and who had not tried to learn even the arts of poetry so this fact in itself is nothing short of a miracle